I am going to try to find a really shady strip mall massage parlor and just walk in. You know, the type of like they, they, they have the windows covered and like just throw $300 on the table and just be like, break me. All right, Ty, thank you for taking a break in the 10,000, you know, <laughs> push-ups that you were doing all the, here. Oh, yeah, all the lifts, all the reps. <laughs> uh, you must be very tired, so I do Extremely. appreciate I do appreciate your time. <laughs> uh, let's just start the easiest way possible. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. I feel great. Extremely tired, uh, but very, very wonderful. I mean, this whole this weekend went better than I could have ever hoped. Uh, super great. We had zero issues everybody had a wonderful time and you know the nice thing is like all the staff all the bands um were all commenting on how it was such a good vibe how they were treated so respectfully and how everybody was it just felt like it was a like a, a hangout with friends mm -hmm. rather than a fest yeah, yeah which yeah. is that that's exactly what i was trying to create and i'm glad that that is what exuded out like that's what that's what came through for everybody yeah, is that yeah, you know yeah. it was really more of like a we're all here, we're all working together, we're all gonna be friends, and uh, and the vibe's good. Although this was my first Mad With Power, mm -hmm. but um, uh, it sounds like you were able to keep the, the 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 vibe or the idea of the festival by ev even when you're tripling in size yeah was that a concern for you that you were yeah. losing out on the that, that it would become quote unquote too corporate that was an extreme concern it was an extreme concern for me and it was also an extreme concern for a lot of people who had gone to the fest a lot of the diehards who've been there every single year they're like i i saw that comment online a lot it's like well i don't just don't know if it's going to be the same you know, it, it might be too big, there might be too many people, there might be people that come that don't get what it's about, mm -hmm. you know? And and I was hoping that the people who were coming for the first time would, you know, would figure it out and just kind of like, <laughs> by, by osmosis, they would just join in, right? Join into the group. And and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, and so yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, we had zero incidents, we had zero issues to my knowledge. Uh, we had one person pass out, but they're okay. <laughs> Now we are in a side corner of a side corner of what you described earlier as the basement you wanted as a 12 year old that you built for yourself as an adult. Yep. yep. Um, yep. Let's say it's, it, it, it's fair to say that you kind of, there's a parallel there with the, with the festival itself. You've built the festival that you wanted to attend, I think. Yeah. Because uh, you mentioned, oh, I got great feedback from the bands and they were treated nicely. But um, more than many other fests, you focus on user experience yeah say. exactly um what were some of what was out of all the things that you do to do because mm -hmm. there were countless uh, uh, examples but was there one that was the hardest to maintain or do do you, sh yeah. did you shoot your do you feel like i'm shooting myself in the foot but this is important well the the thing that i felt the thing that i felt very strongly about um was uh 
was making sure that when people were paying for the festival, paying for their ticket, that they knew exactly how much they were paying for. Because, um, you know, you and I have all and everybody has had the experience of seeing like $25 for, you know, such and such. And then you go to Ticketmaster and it ends up being like 73 right. with, you know, and it was ticket fees and all that extra bullshit and that kind of stuff. And so for the first um, five years of the festival, we built our own ticketing system so that we didn't have to use Ticketmaster and we just ate the fees, you know, so there were credit card processing fees, but we just said, nah, we're, we'll eat them, you know, and we're not going to charge people extra for that. Um, so, you know, I was very adamant about what you see is what you pay. <clears throat> when we moved to the Sylvie, the Sylvie has an exclu exclusivity contract with Ticketmaster, like a lot of venues do. Uh, and so we had to use them or we couldn't use the Sylvie. But the thing that I was the most proud of throughout that whole process is we were the first and as far as I'm concerned, the only festival in the United States that took on Ticketmaster head, head on and we talked to them. We said, look, the only way that we're going to use you is if you tell us exactly what the final price is going to be, uh, because that is a sticking point for us. So, so we can put it on the website. So if it says $90, when they get to the checkout, it is $90. You know, maybe give or take a couple cents, depending on tax, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, and they did not want to do that. You know, they they didn't want to. Well, we don't know what our we don't know what our service fees are going to be. It's like you don't know what your service fees. Are. Apparently, they just decide their service fees. Like they, you know, their CEO wakes up one day and be like, "Oh, that's a bad day. Increase the service fees. Make it more. Make it more." You know. So uh, so we had to pin them down. And then the cool thing about that was that three months after we had done that, I heard that Congress was. Crafting a bill to pass legislation to, you know, to, to, to make sure that, like, the ticket that was, the price that was shown on a website was the price that, you know, the final price. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, well, Joe Biden's the Lord of the Trident fan. I got it. All right. <laughs> there's, there's stuff we learn every year, um, and we are constantly stri striving to improve you know um th when i started the festival and you know with the idea of the festival i'm approaching it as uh, a family reunion oh and there's music you know <laughs> like for me the music is a nice side thing the real focus of it is like let's get everybody in a room together let's have a you know an opportunity for the people who maybe only get to see these online friends once a year let's mm -hmm. give them the best experience possible and there's also going to be bands but mostly mostly for the for the people coming you know because that that's why i go to festivals i like music don't get me wrong i experience live music in a very different way than musicians right who are mm -hmm. who, who who do this full time experience live music in a very different way than like your average concert goer we're always in analytic mode I was like, oh, what, what pedal is he using? Oh, oh, I see the, the, the oh, the in-ears that he's using. Is that, oh, interesting. You know, I can't just lose myself in the experience. I always go into like, oh, look at that light picture. Oh, I wonder what MIDI controller they're using, you know. So when I go to music festivals, I go to see live music, but I mostly go to see the people yeah. and interact with people. That's, that's what I like. You know, I've spoken to, as you know, to, to most of the bands uh, interviewed. A lot of them echo, you know, some of the sentiments that you're sharing um, and, and call out, you know, your great work and, and what have you. Um, on the surface, um, I, th I think you have to play a role where you mm. claim that spotlight. Yeah. Um, how awkward is it for you truly when 1,500 people are chanting your name? <laughs> I mean... It is pretty awkward. <laughs> it's I, I love it. I do, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it, um, and it is one of those things that, like, you know, as as someone who, um, as someone who's you know extroverting, extroverted loves people, and grew up in a situation like I think a lot of power metal people did, where you know I was uh, heavily picked on, made fun of growing up for liking these nerdy things, computers, video games you know, uh, D and D, you know, uh, a lot of us felt like, and we're made to feel like the outcasts mm -hmm. and 
it w it's I think it's nice that like now, you know, I've built something that people see as a net positive, and so they're and so I try I try to like remember that like oh when they're chanting my name, you know, it's just like okay okay they're chanting it for that not not as like an ego thing, but like you know we're all here together. So so it is a little awkward, yeah. But somebody has to be the face of the festival, and I suppose yeah I, I kind of can hold that together. But really, I mean, it is. Uh, it, it is not just me. It is a lot of people. It's uh, it's it's my band who puts up with all my crazy crap that I do. It's all the volunteers. It's all the people behind the scenes that make it run. I just like take the brunt of the good or bad, you know, depending on, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm the leader, um, but I don't do everything myself. Yeah. Never have. Never have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Nevertheless, um, upstairs at the buffet, uh, mm. your mom told me how proud she was that mm. already five people told her today that her son is making the world a better place. Aww. So uh, <laughs> it seems that there's good support there anyway. Mm -hmm. um, like every festival, you have to deal with some last minute changes. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the most you know prominent change that had to happen was you have to change one of the bands around. Um, you had a Seeker Pearl come in instead mm -hmm. of Sound of Thunder. Yeah. Um, in a way, a, a, maybe a blessing in disguise, I'd love to get your opinion, because this year, I mean, the focus of Map with Power is that, and, and I use it in a, in a positive way, the geek culture oh, yeah. uh, where people come together and the bands, you know, most of the bands that play are fantasy inspired, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. epic mm -hmm. power metal bands. But you also include a couple of different bands already. We had Wilderun, for example, brings a bit yeah. more an extreme side. Yeah. With Seeker Pearl and also High Spirits, you have like a little bit of that was like the weird, I'm not going to call it the ugly duck, but it was like the weird duck in the group. Yeah, yeah. But the response of the crowd, which I'm sure they were a little worried at the start, like how is this power metal, you know, video mm -hmm. game crew going to react to our more modern music? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and the crowd was very much into them and the line for their merch was just as long as for every other one. Does that give you some level of of um, of comfort of we can make this, we can let this grow outside mm -hmm. of the boundaries of power metal or are you like, no, nah, we need to maintain the identity mm -hmm. of the festival. We have to let it grow outside of the boundaries of power metal. I mean, it's always going to be centered around like melodic, styles of metal we're not gonna go we're there's we're not gonna go grindcore or deathcore or anything like that it's gonna have to be you know like the heaviest they usually go is like melodic death but like like scandinavian style melodic death where it's like heavy it's like abba meets death metal right mm -hmm. like i like that stuff but but the problem is is that we literally in the united states we just literally do not have enough power metal bands I've already booked almost all of them, mm -hmm. almost all of them. And like, we're, we're getting to repeats at this point. And so if, if we're going to continue to grow this festival and we're going to continue to give bands that need it a boost, you know, because that's the whole point of it. Like getting these mid tier bands, these bands that have been around for a while, but need a little bit of a boost. If we're going to do that, we're going to have to expand out of thinking about, you know, just power metal because the power metal crowd is not a monolithic Mm -hmm. entity you know you can like power metal and also speed metal and thrash metal and death metal and trad metal and whatever and you know and 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 abba <laughs> you can like as much as you want um and i think it, there may also be an opportunity for someone who thinks that maybe they don't like x y or z you know melodic um genre mm -hmm. maybe they see them live and they're like oh i get it now i see now and maybe maybe they start to open up their their horizons you know the 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 one thing i was a little concerned about honestly was the 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 lineup for next year is you know somewhat uh more growl heavy you know so to speak there's a lot of more bands that are a lot more like melodic death and that kind of stuff um but i i i, I feel like uh I, at least with the reaction that i saw from the announcement video i think that people uh dig it and i think that uh that we'll be able to kind of, you know, uh, bring that genre inclusion into uh, into the festival. Yeah, yeah. You know.
one more band to be announced and from this conversation i feel it's going to be an ABBA cover band <laughs> oh yeah yeah it has to be yeah if you ever heard of dancing queen from chicago no i'm kidding <laughs> awesome awesome um okay apart from sleeping what are you gonna do the rest of the day um well i am gonna try to find a really shady strip mall massage parlor and just walk in you know the type of like they, they have the windows covered and like just throw three hundred dollars on the table and just be like break me like destroy my back just absolutely you know leave me in a bloody pulp that's what i need right now i just want to i want to like a five hour you know just hurt me massage that's <laughs> that's 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 my current plans um and and probably sleeping for 24 hours that's, there you go yeah watching this video click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel